right now uh, if I wasn't DJing I, I would hopefully still be involved in music as promoting or something like that because I, I still promote now I used to promote stuff before me DJing took off so if I wasn't DJing I'd love to uh, maybe step up the promoting a little bit and done some more of that but if you're talking about completely on music related uh, well in my job before this I was a lifeguard hopefully hopefully I might have moved out of the swim pool and been doing something else I'm, I'm not sure though <laughs> Yeah, in a way, I think it kind of uh, give us definitely give us more of a taste of like the in the industry and made us maybe a bit more hungrier to be wanting to su succeed in it. But I didn't I didn't particularly make any relationships from promoting that kind of directly got me music signed or anything like that. But I think just being involved involved in it definitely uh, makes you kind of want to be involved more. Yeah. Oh, massively. I mean, like, like you said, they do, it's a really respected label. So to have that platform initially, because my first release was on Hot Tracks, and then after that, they were on Hot, Hot, Hot Creation. So when you've got that um, infrastructure of that such a well-known label behind you, kind of gives you like a reach on your music. Lots of people get to hear it. So it's been so valuable, really. And um, yeah, it's been a massive part of of uh, getting my name out there. It was basically a friend of mine sent something to Hot Creations and he well, he wasn't like a friend of the label or anything, he just sent it to the public SoundCloud ad address and it was actually without me knowing because I had sent tracks to labels before, I was going to have a release on a different label and stuff but that fell through and then I hadn't sent anything to Hot Creations, I didn't think they were good enough for Hot Creations and then my mate sent one of them and uh, that ended up getting played by Jamie and then it just went from there, yeah. I love it here, yeah. I was just thinking, I was counting as I was coming along. I think I played in Dublin about six times, I think. I always have a really good time here, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, uh, here we are tonight, I'm playing for two, two nights in a row, which is mental. I've never played, I've never played any city anywhere two nights in a row before. So the, the Dublin crowd, I just love it. Just seem to just do. It seems to be mint every time. You don't need to, I mean, because there's certain examples, that, like there's not that many people like Jack, Jack Master and stuff. But generally speaking, that's really hard to do that now. I think those days in, in general are kind of gone. So it's, it is the main calling card for most people to to get the name out. dream would to be to do something with Kanye West hello I don't know about now is it I don't know <laughs> but yeah yeah but it was st still I think that would be the that would be the pinnacle really hopefully more of the same really I've got I've got one thing coming out on Kaluki a track called yes chief I'm definitely going to be releasing some stuff. There's nothing like set in stone at the minute, really, apart from that one. I've got a really interesting remix, which I haven't made yet. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say yeah, because I don't know what, what the crack is with their new material, but that's really exciting. It's a kind of like, not a, not a kind of house or techno name, like a, a more kind of like a commercial name. Elliot Adamson, he's a lad from around my way well he's from Sunderland actually but he's a local lad and he's such a talented producer I would say I probably played more of his tracks this year than than any of our artists um, so yeah I've, he's got he's got some releases coming out next year I can't, I can't see how he how he can't blow up <laughs>